<clears throat> All right, we haven't talked about this in a while. Let's talk about the uh, Oakland Athletics, and let's talk about the uh, Oakland Athletics and Sacramento. So here is uh, uh, some of what I'm hearing, for what it's worth, which isn't much. Make it happen. Make it happen. No. Yes. On air fight. <laughs> um, we've talked about it before. You're for it. Well, again, You're... for it if if it's a last draw, if there's no saving Oakland. Of course. Right. That's priority one for everybody. And I'm very, very uh, much against it if, to your point, it screws Oakland and, yeah. and, 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 and lessens the chances of staying in Oakland by 5%, much less more. And I'm against it because I don't want Jeff Fisher anywhere near Sacramento. Okay. Right, or John. Or John, or John Fisher. Yeah. Uh, no, Jeff, Jeff Fisher's yeah, Jeff, a terrible What's coach. he going to do to a 7-9? 81-81. <laughs> um, that being said, what we knew before was, here's what we know. The A's are going to play in Oakland this year. Correct. Uh, we don't know about next year, the year after, the year after. They say it's going to take three years before Vegas is open. Three yeah. seasons. And allegedly Vegas in 28? <laughs> yeah, sounds right. And there's three choices. Well, really two and a half. There's Vegas. That's the half choice. It just doesn't sound like they have the infrastructure or are ready to be able to house the team for three years prior. Just just because, in, in large part, because yeah. of the heat. That leaves. I, I sh- I'm sorry. I should. Yeah, I said three, two and a half. I meant three and a half. Three and a half. I yeah. apologize. One is Oakland. Uh, I think that's the one that uh, we'd all prefer. Oh, I'm sorry. I think that's the one that most would prefer. Um, there have been talks. There's the Oakland Roots and another team that have agreed to play in Oakland. The A's have said they'd share the the, the Coliseum, but there's been talks back and forth, this, that, whatever. Salt Lake City. Salt Lake City is like, yeah, dude, we're ready to go. We have a ton of money behind this thing. We have a great facility. The A's have kind of set that as, okay, cool. Yeah. That's a serious contender. I don't think that's where they want to be, yeah. but they know that they have, an, uh, no pun intended, an ace in the hole if if everything else falls apart. Is San Francisco out? Yes. Okay. Yeah, that is out. That is out. Playing there is out. And then that leaves Sacramento. <clears throat> and I think, again, from, from, from the whispers, the A's actually would prefer to play in Sacramento. There's John Fisher and Vivek Ranadive have a relationship. In fact, Vivek... Uh, spoke to TV yesterday about that, how they're friends. Think what you will. That's just what he said. Um, it is a far closer commute and or relocation temporarily up here. They would, instead of in Salt Lake, where they would be drawing on 100% new A's fans, uh, they have a large A's market up here. Not to mention Sacramento is the biggest market in the country with only one major league team. Uh, the problem from what I have understood, or at least the, the 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 tipping point here on the A's to Sacramento has been Comcast. Comcast currently has a deal with the A's, a TV deal, that is for a lot of money. Sacramento is not the market that Oakland is. So naturally, if the A's were to relocate for three years to Sacramento, Comcast would want to adjust that number down and renegotiate that deal. Now, what's interesting is that the Kings own the River Cats, which means they have a huge amount to gain in this situation. And the Kings also have a contract with Comcast. Mm -hmm. Now, you don't necessarily want to cross-pollinate, but there's a little bit of of maneuvering and, and leverage there on both sides. The weight, as I understand it, has been Comcast making an offer, uh, a counter offer, if you will, on adjusting that rate down so that the A's know what they're dealing with. Now, sources say there was movement on that yesterday. And whether it was verbal or written, I don't know, but that Comcast did a thing. Uh, it sounds like there are politics now involved going all the way up to the governor who very much want the A's to stay in California as long as possible, preferably in Oakland, perhaps, but certainly in California. Um, I would say this, the way the chessboard looks right now at 7, 10 AM, keeping in mind that these are deals done behind closed doors. Things can fall apart. You're also dealing with the A's here. If I were betting, if I were, this is not me, um, 
I, I, I'm not I'm not speaking to emotion or anything right now. I'm just simply reporting here. Everyone knows how I feel about this. If I were a betting man, I would put incredibly heavy odds on the on the A's coming to Sacramento mm-hmm. and an announcement sometime in the next week or two. Now that could still fall apart, but that certainly sounds where things are going right now. Um and then we get into if that were to happen. Then we have to get into, or we don't have to, but I will choose to get into the the ethics, the emotion, the thoughts surrounding it. Obviously, as a station, we will be all over that. Of course, we will. Um, Jason, you know, we, we had uh, some great conversations about this. You and I, I wouldn't say we're on opposite sides. I actually think we're very much on the same side, just uh, different outcomes. Um. I will say for me personally, if the A's were to come to Sacramento, the very first thing I would have to do is 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 talk to the people that know things. Because I think the only way that I could possibly even begin to stomach the A's coming to Sacramento is if I knew for an absolute fact that Oakland was off the table. Not that Oakland was leveraged, not that Oakland was unlikely, but that the I need to know that the A's made a decision at some point that it was going to be Salt Lake City or Sacramento. And I don't know all of the inner workings, but wouldn't that be – well, I mean, I guess there are loopholes in that, but I feel like if they got to that point, that's what happened, is my belief. I mean, I could be wrong on but that. But the, the only issue there is is that if Sacramento, if, if, if Sacramento, along with Salt Lake City, gave the A's leverage over Oakland, yeah. and in other words, if it's a situation where if Sacramento backed out, that would have increased the chances of the A's staying in Oakland for the next three years – I, then I I couldn't wrap my head around it. Mm-hmm. If the A's were basically saying, "Guys, we're we're going to leave Oakland for the next three years. Right. It's up to you. We're either going to Salt Lake City or we're going to Sacramento." Than then I think I probably I'd rather them be here, but it would also I I, I think it would be very very important to do it with open eyes. Yes, but I would also say this now: if this even camp comes about, the Vegas is still. Shaky. That's right. I mean, is it out of the realm of possibility? The law. The second they get out of Oakland for Salt Lake or for Sacramento, yeah, there's a chance that's the final home. Yeah, exactly. The home, and it may not be a big chance, chance, but there is there's a chance. Well, right now there's none. Right, they're not a bottom of the ninth. You're down five runs with an out. Right now they're not going to Salt Lake. Right now they're not going to Sacramento. So there's no chance. That's right. But the second they leave Oakland, right, with a path to Vegas. Mm If there's a stop in between, there's a chance the stop in between is is the stop. A chance. And I would, and and I've very much been conversing, and so have you, with guys like Brody Brazil, Casey mm-hmm. Pratt, and then a lot of A's fans. And I'd be very curious. I'd love to get the most diehard A's fans in a room together and be like, okay, apart from just not being a fan anymore, which I understand. But if you if you were told there is a zero point zero percent chance that the A's are going to stay in Oakland, and your choice is Sacramento or Las Vegas. I honestly wonder what they'd say. Right. Some of them might say Vegas, get as far away from me as possible. Others might say Sacramento. Uh, maybe them being here makes it more likely that they could go be up for sale. And there's there's some deep pockets here. But the number one thing I would want to get way ahead of right now, because I guarantee you it's going to be a talking point, and anybody using this as a talking point, is it best ill-informed? Well, is it best irrationally optimistic? And at worst, ill-informed or just being disingenuous. The A's coming to Sacramento, if that were to happen, is not. It's not. It's under absolutely no circumstances. Zero chance. It's an expansion tryout or it's a relocation tryout for another team. That is not. That is something that's going to get pushed. I can promise you if that's the case, no chance. The Giants will not let that happen. Once the A's are gone, if they leave this state, the Giants will protect this territory with every ounce and fiber of their being, and they have the votes and they have the power to completely cut this off, which is why if you're wondering why would the Giants allow their AAA affiliate to relocate so that the A's could stay in Sacramento, if that's the case, it's because the Giants have been assured that if that, which is why I'm not really hot on the A's staying here, the Giants have been assured, hey, just let the River Cats do their thing you got three years and we're finally getting them out and you will own all of Northern California and part of central California. Do not underestimate the bloody hand. The giants have in this whole thing and the influence they have in this whole thing. as Your well. team. 